Hello, this is Dr. Garrett Castleberry, Associate Professor, Program Director of Communication, Media, and Ethics at Mid-America Christian University, and our instructor for this current session of COM 5113, Global Marketing and Strategic Networking. Well, as this course is getting started, there's a lot on deck. Uh, week one is always full of lots of orientation, kind of reading the rules, the syllabi, making sure our resources are in play. And certainly there's been no shortage of early communication um, between us as you're getting settled in, perhaps reaching for that extra text and, and trying to gain insight to be able to weigh which parts are going to be the most valuable. But once again, I just want to stress the strategic networker is, uh, uh, is going to be one of our most important resources early in the class. It's going to fuel um, the projects that we put together. And again, it's really a short uh, research resource. It's incredibly brief. It's also, for that reason, it's, it's, it's relatively inexpensive to acquire, um, but it, it doesn't take away from its values. In fact, it's chock full of them. Um, this is from Dr. Uh, J.P. Hatella, who, um, who is a... a a consultant, an author, uh, but also but also a professor in his own right. And I'm here with a big announcement for you all. Um, Dr. Hadell is going to join us, um, or at least connect via Zoom um, to talk about his book. This is at our request, not his. All right, and so this is this is what we could consider on one hand, perhaps a strategic interview with uh, a guest speaker, but also perhaps you could consider it a guest lecture of sorts, maybe a combination of the two if we get him really warmed up to the subject area, which is of course his book. We're interested in bringing him in to discuss it. It's part of our author interview series um, that we're going to establish in courses like this one where we attempt to gain deeper insights into the author's intents. And so um, it's going to be a relatively limited window. We can't monopolize time. And in fact, it may be a time that some of us, uh, several of us may be unable to attend. Nonetheless, here's how we'll plan for this. I'm going to place the link to the Zoom, um, to the Zoom interview in our D2L space. You can join us if you're available to uh to do so live uh and if not fear not because uh for for encounters that i have in my classes i like to be able to archive those engagements um edit them down um cut out the fluff and post that up on my youtube channel right so uh, a, a channel that's ha a, a solely intended for academic purposes so we're not trying to we're not trying to get to buy things. We're not trying to get your algorithms all messed up on social media. Uh, but it's a great follow if you want free academic content. And it's certainly a resource that we use again and again um, in this course and other courses. And, and uh, regardless, I'll also hyperlink or embed, rather, I'm going to embed that video into the newsfeed eventually once it's processed and ready. All right, so we are going to connect with this author, the author of our first book in the course, um, and a um, couple of questions. Uh, first question, when's this going down? Well, yeah, we have plotted a time where we're both available, and while, um, again, it may not fit everyone's window this time out, uh, we certainly intend to uh, share the final product with you, but I have a way that perhaps we can connect uh, nonetheless. We're going to perform this um, um, this connected interview time on Wednesday, uh, Wednesday, uh, May 25th at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, as he's joining us uh, from Eastern, uh, Eastern Standard Time. That'll be 1 p.m. <laughs> Central Time, right? Uh, for those of you living local um, from Chicago on down. Oklahoma City area. Uh, and so that's that's 2 p.m. 1, 2 p.m. Eastern, 1 Central on Wednesday, May 25th. We'll look to um, schedule some of our additional upcoming interviews at later times, potentially aiming for that 
um, 16 hour if possible. We know that's a time when many that work all day could possibly join after uh, they make their way home or that sort of thing. Um, okay, so we're gonna continue to look for opportunities uh, to, to give you all engagement. So I mentioned that other, uh, that other question, well, how can, how, can I, how can I get involved, says student. And uh, really our goal is to have a set series and, and a short series of questions, uh, focused questions, predetermined. We're gonna ask each, uh, each of the, those that join us that speak on behalf of uh, maybe a book or its subject area. And um, beyond that, we'll open up conversation. But if you want to, um, you could produce a video question and um, embed your own YouTube uh, YouTube link to to do the video question, and um, we could create a thread for that in our uh, D2L space, something like that, and then play those up at the end, uh, assuming assuming the conversation doesn't go into overtime or anything like that. So back to the text, the central text. I know some of us still waiting on it to come in. Maybe we're waiting to pull a trigger. Whatever the case, uh, I'm gonna work on scanning the first few pages uh, to get that out to you, uh, to at least give you that sample. Um, but this would be a great one to acquire because we're going to hear from the source. And so a great way to think about, anticipate, maybe think about what would I, what would I ask or how would I engage it or what, what's going to connect me more with the listening process of hearing from someone like this would be to acquire and then read the text. Uh, and I don't think you're going to have a problem with the rush read on this one. There's a lot, there's some, um, there, you know, it's heavy in vernacular, right? You're going to pick up on some key terms. Uh, there's a lot to think about and process, but again, it's a relatively brief read. And so uh, our challenge to the class is to work through most, if not all of it in week one, you're going to encounter some of the takeaways from this as, as we build our own strategic um, project in this course. Okay. And so this is just a great opportunity to practice uh, and engage with what we're reading and part of that, that kind of that dynamic interlay that we're hoping to provide for you all in COM uh, 5113 Global Marketing and Strategic Networking.